In the meantime, construction is underway again on the north south freeway, specifically the portion of the corridor that will run through Spokane Community College. Crews have started building the framework for the bridge that will go over campus. Our own Ian Smay spoke with the Department of Transportation today. He's joining us now live with more. Hi, Ian. Good evening, Whitney. I'm here at the Spokane Community College campus where part of the North Spokane corridor is beginning to take shape. Crews have started placing rebar for supports for that overpass and have also placed footings in the ground. It's the next step in the years long saga behind this traffic project. This work on the North South corridor is a welcome sight for commuters in Spokane. I don't know. I feel, I feel like with these with these projects, these government projects, a lot of times that they're kind of slow and they don't put the right amount of funds in into getting the project done so we just have an eyesore for kind of a long time and i i just hope that we can at least get it done soon because you know i like to see us being efficient right crew started work on the portion of the project that goes over the spokane community college campus last tuesday a flyover is being built which is basically a type of bridge that will act as an overpass over the campus it will offer six lanes in total for commuters the part of the bridge going over the school's parking lot may seem high but it's relatively short compared to other parts of the project. So through this section over the Spokane community parking lot, roughly 25 to 30 feet once it's completed. Uh, this will kind of be the low spot as it works its way south. And then as it starts to hit Freya, the, the freeway will rise once again. Commuters should see progress being made just about every day. Crews will work north to south on this part of the project with the bridge itself starting to take shape this year. There are 10 footings total for the bridge in the area of the Spokane Community College campus, with each footing having four columns for a total of 40 columns. And according to Overton, the bridge will have some local flair. Some cool aspects of the design that's going into this, all the piers are going to have stamped uh, designs on them. So one will be like the red band trout, uh, another one will be a ponderosa pine. So kind of aspects of the community and, and things that are unique to the inland northwest. It isn't the only part of the project being worked on. Crews are nearing completion on the part of the project on Wellesley. According to Overton, that means Wellesley should reopen next year. Until then, Overton says commuters don't need to worry, as Wellesley and Euclid will never be closed at the same time. Now, Overton also says that due to the construction taking place off of the road, that there should only be small single lane closures during construction. He did say that part of Augusta Avenue on the Spokane Community College campus will be closed as construction takes place. Reporting in North Spokane, Ian Smay, Krem 2 News.